Token .io, a UK-based eight-way payment solution provider, has released virtual settlement accounts, which allow payment providers to use eight-way for e-commerce. The new service allows payment providers to get real-time settlement alerts while collecting and holding payments in multiple currencies. As a result, end merchants will have insight over the monies they receive, and as a result, the confidence to immediately release goods and services. Token.io cap uh, capitalizes on the renewed interest in account-to-account -account payments as a result of the trend away from cards and towards alternative payment methods by expanding this new product. According to the official announcement, open banking-powered A2A payment transactions are expected to exceed $330 billion by 2027. This proposed solution revolves around raising the max effective balance and Ethereum parameter that currently caps the effective balance of Ethereum validators at 32 ETH. The max EB has inadvertently led the validator set size to balloon under the existing structure, forcing large-scale staking operations to operate a huge number of validators. The Ethereum network is under significant strain where there were 600,000 active validators and an additional 90,000 in the activation queue. This proposal states that increasing the max EB allows future consensus layer upgrades to be unblocked, improves the performance of the present consensus mechanism and P2P layer and improves operational efficiency for validators of all scales. Ethereum's roadmap includes improvements to consensus layer, including single slot finality and EPBS. However, the inflated validator set size hinders these upgrades. An increased max EB could help validators maintain stake within the protocol for compounded rewards mitigating strain. This could also benefit solo stakers and large scale stakers by democratizing staking compound and reducing operational overheads. Deutsche Bank, one of Germany's leading financial institutions, has taken an important step towards embracing the digital asset revolution by seeking for a license to provide cryptocurrency custody services. During a conference, the bank's commercial banking section led by David Lyon acknowledged the application, expressing a commitment to expanding their digital assets and custody business. The application has been submitted to Befin, Germany's securities regulator. The bank hopes to position itself as a trustworthy custodian for digital assets by gaining this license which will allow it to provide a secure storage option for cryptocurrencies and other digital assets. The strategic approach is consistent with Deutsche Bank's overall goal of increasing fee income in its corporate banking segment. As the demand for cryptocurrency grows, the bank sees an opportunity to generate revenue through digital asset-related services. In the upcoming segment, we will update you about the following news. Tokenot launches AI-powered project analysis platform with AirDrop. Skoda launches Skoda vs India initiative to buy and trade NFTs. HSBC plans to launch seamless banking services in the metaverse. Stay tuned for more updates.